the blink of an eye after that win at the American Express. I'm sure he's doing just fine. <laughs> Speed at the first. Oh! That was Speedy. Yeah, RD, he couldn't make anything yesterday, and just like that, Speed drops a bomb from off the green. Technology is always provided by our good friends at Trackman. Swinging that draw in there, that's what he's been working on. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Ricky. They made a good one on the first hole. Got a chance. Oh, yes. Boy, that is a great way to start your round. Just some great confidence building made putts. All right, let's go to the eighth. This is Ahithagala. Made a double here yesterday on the eighth hole. Downwind today. Eight's going to play a lot easier than it has the first three days. There's some slope here. Oh. This could be really good. It, almost perfect if that had gone in. On a really good line. See if he got the right number. Oh, it spun back on him a little bit. Wow, Steve, just the quintessential ball striker. Gets out to 10 under par, and he has the lead all to himself. Four is within four shots of the lead. A very short. Players that have gone for this green off the tee, the 344 yard drive, and if you have that. As we go to the first green, and Wyndham Clark trying to get to nine under par as well. Nice smooth look here for Clark. Just coming from behind the hole. He's made oh. over 300 feet of putts through three rounds. We'll add to that total, Steve. This guy is feeling it with the short stick. If it sits way up, you can catch it on the top of the club, but this is down. Might not be the worst thing, because into the wind, it'll take a little spin off and get through it easier. Yeah. Yeah, gets himself out of trouble there. Center of the green. At the 11th, Sahith Thagala. You see quite a few putts. That is uh, the safe play. Putt back to it. Oh, oh, sneaks it in. There you go. A little left to righter for Sahith Thagala. By the way, playing with McElroy back at the third, Harris English did make his five. This is Tom Kim at 16. Great touch. Kim. Now at three over. Little help off the right. He's tugged this a little left. Watch for the spin. And that slope just takes it away from the hole, but nice easy putt up the up the hill. No worries about speed up the hill. Give this a firm tap. Oh, right away. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Kidding? I don't think he thought he tapped it quite firm enough, but he got there. <laughs> He's a little embarrassed by his reaction. The chimney looks like a perfect spot to hit it at. We need to land softly. And it does. Here we go. Good look to go 12 under. Got to get your number right here. This hole is usually cut right up against the edge of that water and look at that That's beautifully good. positioned there Steve the short par four nota he went on to make birdie there so he's got to match it all up here to hit a good putt looks did good he? he's there he yeah. did Justin Thomas putting very well in his opening nine making a move he's now three back three under Go to the other side of the golf course. This is Ludwig Oberg for birdie on 14. Yeah. Like his chances next week, Kurt? I like his chances most weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be it'll be good. He's got a lot to learn. A little shorter from this right hand side. He's holding his breath, but <laughs> no need now. It's perfect. Good birdie look for Sung Jay to finish things off. Very left to right wind, just a touch of help in it. Yeah, the 
situation doesn't bother Scotty Scheffler and thrives on it. And another beautiful wedge shot. <laughs> it's like he's playing golf in a 10 yard wide tunnel. I mean, everything, fairways. It's a video game. Eight times he won here. 211. And the current number one in the world. Scheffler for another birdie. Just a moment ago, Scotty Scheffler from the bunker at the 13th. Had Mother Nature not provided a little help with the moisture last night. And the winds aren't crazy today. Just when we saw some bounce on the greens, yeah. it kind of got taken away. It really played a little bit softer going yeah. on the approaches. And as soon as you say it, Dan, Lowry delivering. From 153. That had some nice compression to it. Nice. Got it back there. One of the best swings of the day for Shane. Two in a row, actually. Only one birdie on the round. Chance to get another one here. Speaking of going, Scheffler just been terrific all day. Another birdie putt. Yeah, he has. This one curves a little bit to the left and good line. Good speed. Good putt. Good Our three. Game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you what. This is the best way to stop questioning somebody about your putting. And sprinting away. Lowry. Three on top of three. 112 now left for his third. Comfortable sandwich for Russell. Little left. There you go. Spinning back. Beautiful shot. Everything seems comfortable <laughs> for Scheffler. I'm telling you right now, boys, if that club right there gets going. Even then, you know, taking on the flag somewhat, didn't need to. Just been an exhibition of ball striking by Scotty Scheffler. Victor Hovland has that mini, and he plays the tough golf course as well. Good looking putt by Clark to end it. Jumps out of the tie for second. Into solo second. That was from just more than 16 and a half feet. And Scotty Scheffler is the king of Bay Hill again. With one of the great performances we've ever seen here around difficult Bay Hill. The scoring average was 73.1. Scheffler shoots 66. Wyndham Clark grabs the more money and points with the solo second. Then Lowry, Zalatoris, and Henley tie for fourth. Figala and Todd tied for fifth. They'll all be bottom lines of the story. The headline at Arnie's place, Scheffler dominates. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. And to subscribe, click here.